Joining us tonight on WHKY TV News is Joe Kofer, a retired local educator. Joe recently retired from the Gaston County School System. He is a Hickory resident and he is working with two students on their remote learning currently. Joe is going to give us some information about remote learning and offer some suggestions. Thanks, Rob. Um, I would like to just talk a little bit about how we got here to this remote learning situation. Um, back in March on the 13th, we saw our students for the last time. Then, starting the following Monday, we were in emergency remote learning. And that was a totally new situation for everybody, parents, teachers. And when we switched, we, were, we had to figure out a way to reach our students so that they could get online and do some online work. We also had to put together packets for them to do schoolwork written at home for them to pick up at the schools. It was a situation where we were literally uh, flying the plane while it was being built. And when we got to that point, we ended up at the end of the year uh, finishing out that emergency remote learning. Then, to begin this school year, the governor gave us three options. They gave us plan A, which was to bring everybody back in with uh, health restrictions and, and uh, safeguards. Plan B, which was a hybrid where we would do a combination of in-person learning and remote learning. And then C would be all remote learning, virtual learning. And uh, we started the school year in Plan B in many of the places in the uh, state. That was half the students in for two days and remote learning for the other three days. This creates a uh, problem for parents because we end up having to uh, provide structure in a school setting, but we need to do it at home. When we have the structure of the school gives us a constant routine, they know that's where they work. And then what we need to do is to create that at home for them as best we can. I would suggest to those parents who are out there uh, working on their students at home, have a consistent place to be, a consistent time, and a consistent routine. But remember you're not failing because the students are not going to remember any single lesson, but they will remember the time that you spent with them. Thank you, Rob, for having me. I've enjoyed our time together. Thanks so much to Joe Kofer, a retired educator, recently retired from the Gaston County School System, and he also taught here in Catawba County, and he is currently working with two local students on remote learning. And with Joe Kofer, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY-TV News. Back to you, Ralph.